my name is Ali, and welcome back to my channel. We are here with Hakuoki Kyoto wins Hijikata's round. Let's go! Do you know who you're speaking to? Princess Sen is a descendant of Suzuka Gozen. Himigiku, please. That is not necessary. Her tone was calm and friendly, but it left no room for argument. I agree with Hijikata. If she really does have a blood of a different species, we'd like to cooperate with her for internal purposes in the near future. That sounds kind of creepy to me. Almost like he's going to like use her as like a science experiment kind of thing. I don't know why, but even the look he's giving just scares me. What? Kimikiku glared at him. She probably didn't say anything out of concern for Sen. I see. That is a problem, then. There's no way I can convince you? Hold on a minute. We didn't confirm one important thing. Important thing? Yukimura, what do you have to say about this? Me? Um, well, I... Uh, I couldn't give an immediate answer. It wasn't that I was doubting Sen and Kimigiku, but... I see. It must be difficult to discuss with an audience. You ought to speak with Princess Sen alone. What the hell, Kondo? Is he worried about us? Is he worried that we'll leave him, or Hijikata? Hijikata tried to protest, but Kondo didn't change his expression. There should be at least one witness. The princess may take Kimigiku as well, of course. No. That's not necessary. We've been ignoring her feelings this whole time. If she wants to leave this place, then we shouldn't stop her. Kondo. Damn it. You're so easy on people as usual. Well, if Kondo says so. His words spoke for the rest of them as well. They might not like it, but Kondo was the chief. What he said went. But it was above his title alone. I think his personality usually won one of those, one of these sorts of issues. You won't steal her away the moment you t the two of you are alone, will you? You needn't worry. Once a demon makes a promise, we keep it. I'll be fine. Sen isn't a bad person. Why, thank you, Chizuru. When she smiled, her expression had returned to that of a girl her age. A few moments later, we found ourselves alone in my bed, in my room. <laughs> I know I've given you a terrible amount of things to think on this evening. I'm awfully sorry. Normally, I would never take this kind of measure. No, it's all right. I'm sorry about, you know, them. They said some pretty mean things. Well, that's to be expected, I fear. I was asking rather a lot of them, and frightfully suddenly... Not many humans would accept the existence of demons so readily. But enough of that. On to business. What do you say to my offer? Have you thought on it? I had indeed. If Sun had come to me when I first arrived in Kyoto, I might well have taken her up on her hospitality. But now? The Shinsengumi seems to believe that they can... Though I do not doubt their dedication, I confess I do doubt their ability. No, of course it does this. Uh, perhaps what she said was true. The Shinsengumi were powerful and skilled. I'd seen them face overwhelmingly overwhelming odds and emerge victorious. But those odds had always been only human. The strength of even a single demon was something great and terrible of that. There was no doubt. We had all seen so firsthand, and some had even lost their lives to that strength. And the same fate could occur. Wait, and the same fate could occur even to the captains of the Shinsengumi. I don't know why I used her Sen's voice. I'm sure the political situation in Kyoto will be more chaotic in the near future. If Kazuma was to strike during that such a time, what do you think would happen? You would lead the Shinsengumi. That way, wait, derp, you should leave the Shinsengumi. That way, they will be able to fight without worry. Sen. 
Her eyes were serious, but warm and honest. Whatever else she might be, her concern for me was real. Thank you, son, but I hesitated. I just couldn't get myself to agree. Is there a reason you wish to stay? Yeah. Oh my, one of those gentlemen, perhaps. What? Her question had been entirely innocent, although it had caught me off guard. I couldn't possibly lie to her. What should I tell her? We are going to say yes. <clears throat> yeah. I nodded and didn't... Sorry, I had to take a drink. I nodded and did my best to look confident. She seemed a little surprised, but... <clears throat> she eventually looked relieved and softened up. I see. Well, I shan't ask who. But I can certainly understand your dilemma. That being the case, I couldn't probably tell, possibly tell you to leave. Thank you for waiting. <coughs> Sorry. So how was it? Have you reached a decision? Before I could speak, Sen stepped forward. After some discussion, we have decided to leave things as they are. Sen. Are you sure, Your Highness? Quite, for now. I believe it is of utmost importance to prioritize her wishes. Very well. The Shinsengumi accepts responsibility for her well-being. Just relax and leave it all to me. Oh, I'm sure Shinpachi will give you all sorts of other things to worry about. Still, glad to have you around. What kind of girl would want to stay here? I can't tell if you have guts, or if you've got rocks for brains. This doesn't make you special. You'll receive the same treatment you always have. Right. Thank you, all of you, for letting me stay. Sen took my hands in hers and let her eyes rest on mine. Do be careful, Chizuru, and remember, I am on your side. Thank you, Sen. She gave me one one last warm smile, and then Sen and Kimigiku were off. <sighs> Once again, sleep refused to come. My mind worked furiously, turning over everything Sen had told me, examining it from every angle. I was a demon. Not only that, but I was the head of a pure-blood demon clan that was nearly destroyed, my heritage being the reason for Kazuma's continued interest. Gosh. I had decided to stay with the Shinsengumi, but was that really the best idea? Should I have left instead? I'd wanted to stay, of course, and I didn't really think leaving was a res reasonable choice, but what if I'd made a mistake? Eek! I heard a sound from outside and it made me jump. If, like I said in one of my other videos, if my sound is off, I have, I don't have my, well, I have my headphones plugged in, but I don't have them on because I'm kind of, I need to hear if my son's causing trouble. So, <laughs> anyway. So if the sound is, if it's like making a noise, I don't hear it. You know, I'm sorry if I'm talking over it or whatever. That sound, could it be? I'm sorry for bothering you this so late, but it's an emergency. I heard Shimada from the hallway. Yes? The door snapped open and Shimada stepped in. His eyes darted back and forth nervously and his body was tense. Has something happened? The demons have attacked us. The demons have attacked us. Blech. The demons have attacked us here. What? They're after you, which means you need to stay here. B but I was the reason they'd come here. How could I justify sitting on my hands while others fought my battles for me? I didn't know what to do. We are going to go find the others. Just so we can see our Hijikata boy. I have to go, Shimada. I can't let you do that. The commander made sure I don't let you come out. Those demons are here for me. If anyone gets hurt, maybe they'll listen to me. That's why they're here, right? What if I can convince them to leave peacefully? Please, I'm begging you. Let me go. We know that they are here for me. So, if I could convince them, maybe Kazuma and the others would hear me out. 
Shimada's brow furrowed, and his mouth drew into a tight line. But at last he sighed, shaking his head. <sighs> Fine. If you're going to be that insistent, I don't think there's anything else I can do. I was told to protect you, though. So, if you're going, then, I'm. so am I. Is that all right with you? That will be fine. We ran out of the house, and then I paused momentarily, unsure of where to go. This way, Yukimura. The second he said that, something passed right in front of my eyes. Huh? His big body flew. Ah! He flew several yar yards through the air, then hit the ground, hard, sliding another few feet before lying still. Shimada? It all happened so quickly. I tried to run up to him, but then... Just where do you think you're going? That voice. Oh, jeez. Creepy boy. In the same instant that I recognized his voice, I felt his arms snake around my neck and pull me in. Urgh! I struggled, but his grip was as immovable as steel. Let go of me! I heard the Yase clan had visited you today, tonight. I'm sure they got you up to speed. You are a noble demon. It is beneath you to lay in the nest full of pathetic fix. Come with me. It was obvious that he was referring what he was referring to when he mentioned fakes. You've seen the pitiful attempts of manufacturing demons, have you not? Do you really think it's necessary to help them in creating such abominations? Just to carry out their sick agenda of self interest? I I I couldn't find a response. For obvious reasons, I wasn't, it, I wasn't necessarily in favor of the existence of Furies, but there are times when you have no other choice. Still, as an outsider, I'm in no position to say. And more than anything else, my father was the one reasonable, was the one reasonable for this serum. And we are going to put, you don't even know anything. You don't even know anything about the Shinsengumi situation. So what? Even if I were to entertain their excuses, would you be asking me to turn a blind eye? Well, just then, breaking into her, our headquarters, huh? Takes balls. That girl named Sen or whatever? You, this isn't a gathering place for demons. Fun's over now, pal. Are you ready? Hey, man. I heard you're barging into our place to get yourself a wife. You think you'd get that get the point by now after all these rejections? I guess demons are very persistent. Hijikata! Harada! Behind them I could see Yamazaki and several of the other Shinsengumi soldiers. Some men were missing, though. Had they been injured by the demons? Perhaps even killed? You fools! have no idea of her worth. Demons are best fit to be with demons. She is most valuable when used by a fitting partner. Ugh, that sounds terrible. Ha! So you decide to take her against her will just because you're too scared of the rejection you'll get from flat out asking her out, huh? You're so lame and creepy. She's worthless to you as a hostage. Even if you take her as a hostage, we'd kill you regardless, without any hesitation. I have no intention of using her as leverage. I wouldn't have to, anyway, with the likes of you. The ring of men around him began to draw in. I could feel the tension build, like a rope being pulled taut. Soon, it would reach its breaking point. What was I going to do? We are going to try to attack. Kazuma had a good hold on me from behind, but he hadn't bothered to restrain my arms. There was nothing I could do. I wouldn't dare to attack him. Or perhaps he thought that, even if I did, he'd have no dif difficulty dealing with my attacks. I wasn't foolish enough to think I might actually beat him in a fight, but at least I could try to defend myself. I jerked my sword out. Yeah! I attacked Kazuma with all of my might. However, <laughs> Kazuma easily dodged my swing. His hand slid, slid to my wrist, and he twisted viciously. Ah! 
It was strong enough that I thought for a moment my bones would break. With a cry, my sword flew from my fingers. How dare you point your sword to, my f to your future husband? I guess you truly have no idea how powerful I am. I'll just have to discipline you. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Where are you looking at? I'm your opponent. Hmm? My adored attack had distracted Cosima for only a split second, but that was all the time Hij Hijikata needed. Within the space of a breath, he closed the distance between himself and my captor, the tip of his blade, leaping toward Cosima's throat. Damn it! Almost too quickly to see, he leaned out of the way. Hijikata's blade hissed through the air centimeters from his neck. A lesser man, or a human, would have been dead, and so for a moment Cosima's demon strength and reflexes were focused on the sword at his throat. That moment was enough time for me to break free. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. So awesome. I love it. Ah! He gripped my arm and my body was jerked into him. Hijikata? I felt a gentle, powerful arm curl around my body, catching and sheltering me at the same time. Aww, you're so sweet. Thought you were supposed to stay in your room. You're a real pain, kid. I know. I'm sorry. Oh. I guess that means he liked it. Still, you did good. What? Wouldn't have had that opening without you. Good job. Praise from Hijikata was not something I was accustomed to. I opened my mouth to say I wasn't sure what when Hijikata or whatever, you get those dirty hands off of her. The girl is mine. I will not give her to a mere human. Kazuma was, had recovered quickly from the attack and his eyes smoldered with cold fury. Sorry, man, but I can't hand her over. The Shinsengumi's responsible for her now. We gave our word. No, no going back. I felt his grip on me tighten as he spoke. Chizuru Yukimura, come with me. You are a member of the Honorable Demon Clan. You shouldn't be associated with the likes of them. Even their existence is despicable. I... The image of Shimada being relentlessly thrown against the wall flashed before me. Even if I was part of a demon clan like he was. No, I'll never join you. I'm staying here. Now please, please leave. You would choose a simple human then? Ha! Aw, too bad, Kazuma. Who would have thought I'd get to see you get rejected by a girl? That was pretty epic. Shut up, Shiranui. Oh, wait. I thought it was her. Shut up, Shiranui. <laughs> oh, no. Hijigata was having trouble with Kazuma alone. Now we also have Shiranui to deal with. Just then. Hijigata, my apologies for being late. The Fury Corps will be your opponent. Sanan? You there, you sure were saying some funny things a little earlier. If my memory serves me correctly, I think you were saying something like we were imitators. This is an excellent chance for you to witness our tremendous strength. Sanon's hair was stark white and his eyes were red. He led the Fury Corps towards Kazuma and his men. These men are fresh, ready to fight. What would you do? Ugh. So, they could have a whole army of these chumps, and they wouldn't be a match for us. I say we take them apart. We gotta get rid of them eventually anyways. No need to dirty my sword with fake demon blood. Oi, Kazuma! I'll do you a favor and step down today. But that doesn't mean that this is over. I will be back for the demon woman. Look forward to my return. Hey, wait, you bastards! Hijikata tried to run after them. With no further deliberation, they leapt over the wall to the street and were gone. I'm, go I'm going to let you guys go here. I hope you are enjoying, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!